Oh my god, hello YouTube. Today I wanted to make a video um, making this delicious whipped coffee that is all over the internet. And I've been making it a lot at home. I usually just drink it like on an afternoon if I'm hanging out and cleaning or doing homework or whatever. But I am supposed to be at work in 45 minutes and my charge nurse just called me and she is low censusing me until 9 p.m. Meaning instead of going in at 7 p.m. I'm now going in at 9 p.m. So I was like, oh, what better time to make whipped coffee than now and to film it. So I am going to kind of walk you guys through what I did that fucked up the first time um, and kind of how it's gotten better um, over the last few times I've made it. Ignore me. Like I said, I was like completely ready for work when my charge nurse called. So kind of in work clothes right now, but we're gonna make this coffee. I found this on Instagram. I don't have TikTok or I didn't have TikTok at the time. And after much um, persuasion from my friends, I downloaded it and worst decision ever because you burn up so much time watching stupid ass videos on the app. I don't even understand why I watch them, but they're so funny and ridiculous to me. A lot of them some of them are actually like really good but they're just so ridiculous so I get caught up watching them and <laughs> I don't know why so anyway this was something that came around on TikTok. Um, apparently it's called Greek coffee it's called like Dalgona coffee or something like that and a lot of people just call it whipped coffee that's what I call it I call it whipped coffee it's really really good there's a bunch of variations you can do with it to kind of tailor it to your taste so I'll go over it with you guys and I'll tell you guys what I found that works best tastes best and makes the least mess because this got so messy the first time I made it I had um, coffee freckles um, my walls my counters everything in my kitchen had coffee freckles because I fucked it up so here's what we're gonna do first things first uh, my boyfriend bought us these nice Yeti cups um, for camping. And they're like the nice big insulated cups. I don't know what size this is. But um, so I blend mine in this. It's pretty deep, which is what you want when you make this coffee, because like I said, it makes a mess. So we're gonna take this. We are going to do number one way I fucked up. Tell me what's wrong with this. It's decaf. So I ended up buying actual um instant coffee you can't use just normal ground coffee you have to use instant coffee that's the only way this is going to work so you do equal parts of instant coffee sugar and hot water and i don't do boiling water i just do hot water and i also found out i don't know if this is true or not but for every like like i do two tablespoons of each thing Apparently, two tablespoons of um, instant coffee is equivalent to six cups of coffee. Oh my god, that's right. Because it says use one slightly rounded teaspoon for, you know, pretty much a cup. So if you don't know, three teaspoons make one tablespoon. So if I'm using two tablespoons, that's six teaspoons, which is six cups of coffee. We love caffeine. All right, you guys are on a Black & Decker box right now. So I've got my coffee in there, just two tablespoons. I'm gonna take plain old sugar, pour it over my sink, cause I will make a mess. And this always seems like a lot of sugar to me. Um, and the thing is, I'll show you guys like at the later step, how to kind of eliminate the amount of sugar you're adding into this. This is the key. I bought this thing on, I, get it? I got it at Target. I got this at Target. It's just like a little coffee frother and I would use it when I would put just milk in my coffee. I would put milk in my cup and froth it really good and then pour my coffee over it and it was kind of like a latte. It was like six or seven or eight bucks or something like that. This is all it looks like. It's just like a little spooly thing. It's got one speed, turn it on. And that's what it does. So, this is what I use to make, to mix the coffee, the sugar, and the water. A lot of people use hand mixers and a big bowl. I find this is easiest because there's way less splatter. You could use a whisk, but you're gonna 
really probably give yourself tennis elbow if you're whisking as much as you have to. So I always put this in first and then turn it on. Don't turn it on before you put it in, otherwise you're really gonna make a mess. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of slowing down because it's starting to froth already. And I don't froth mine until I get the peaks. Um, I don't make it as whipped as a lot of people do. Um, I do like the texture of it, but I don't like having it overly whipped, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't bother me either way to have it. So if you guys can hear, it's like starting to slow down already. So if you pour it out, that's what it looks like. So it's got kind of like a, mine's not thick, like I said. It's got like a peanut butter consistency. So we're just gonna rinse that off. Here is the big thing. Okay, so a lot of people do set up their cup and they put ice and then they'll put like half creamer, half milk, and then they whip this on top of it, you know, make it look all pretty. And I'll kind of show you guys how I did it um, the first time I made one. Since then, I just make the whipped heart in here, I throw in ice, um, I do my milk and my cream. The first time I made this, it was so sweet because I did half cream and half milk. And it was way too sweet, it just like did not taste good. I don't like overly sweet coffee, like even this is sweet for me. I usually just drink my coffee with like a tiny bit of cream. But um, I have since learned to do like three-fourths of it milk to a quarter of creamer. I fucked up, I don't have any milk. So I picked the least sweet of the creamers I have, um, that way to kind of like balance out that milk taste that I'm not gonna have, which sucks. So I've got all this in here. All I'm gonna do is put plain old ice in here. So I put a lot of ice um, because, you know, with the hot water mixing in with the coffee and the sugar, it makes the drink warm. I don't like like that warm feeling of iced coffee. I think it's gross. So I put a lot of ice in here. Then I would do my milk and then on top of that I would just do a little bit of cream. Like I said, since we're out of milk, I'm just going to do um, a probably half the amount of cream I would use, or half the amount of milk I'm gonna do as cream. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot because I don't, I don't, I don't want it to be overly sweet. Mine does not look pretty. The first time I made it, I did it like all cute and pretty. But now I just want to drink it because it tastes so good. So I usually just mix it up. Oof. It's so good. I used this cookie butter creamer that was from Walmart. I had this and then I had like that cinnamon toast crunch one. Um, that one is way sweet and I did not want to kill myself with like overly sweet coffee. So I just use this. Pretty good. Um, I usually take like the first sip and make sure I like the amount of flavor in it. And then I'll let it sit for five or ten minutes and I'll kind of like stir the ice through it. Uh, because when I took that first sip it was um, still had like that warm coffee taste to it. And I don't like that. Like I don't like warm iced coffee. So I let the ice kind of sit in it and then I'll add in more as I need it. So yeah, so now the, the ice is like up to here and I just let it sit. And I don't, this doesn't water down my coffee. It just makes it um, nice and cool. Cause I will drink this since the Yeti's insulated. I will drink all the coffee before the ice is even melted. The ice just really helps make it cold. So that's all I do. It's really, really delicious and I love it. I don't make it every day. Um, I still drink just like my normal hot coffee every day with like a little bit of cream. This is for um, like afternoons where I'm like cleaning the house or I want something different. I made it before work tonight because I just feel like <laughs> working three nights in a row um, can be a drag sometimes and this is night two of three. So I'm trying to, you know, get excited and um, make myself look forward to going into work. I do any other day, but working night two of three is just like a really rough one. So I'm going to drink all this. I'm going to go into work and we're going to have a good night. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.